Infant Feeding for Parents and Caregivers is a guide to best practices for bottle-fed babies. Providing proper nutrition to your baby is critical for their healthy growth and development and may impact important outcomes, including long-term brain development. If you're not planning to breastfeed, please consult your baby's pediatrician about using commercial infant formula, as some babies may require specialized formula or extra calories to thrive. This video will focus on feeding best practices for full-term babies, and another video is available with insights for specialized feedings. Typically, full-term babies should gain about 30 grams every day. By five months of age, they should weigh twice their birth weight, and by their first birthday, they should triple it. Each week, babies should grow approximately one centimeter, about the width of a paperclip, and their head circumference should increase by half a centimeter. Your baby's pediatrician will track their growth on a growth curve. Babies communicate hunger through cueing, which includes signs such as being alert around feeding times, turning their head from side to side, opening their mouth and sticking out their tongue, putting their fists and fingers in their mouth, or smacking their lips. When they aren't ready to eat, babies might cough, gag, turn their face away, hiccup, or cry persistently. In these cases, it's best to wait before attempting to feed your baby. It's important to feed your baby when they're awake and cueing. Newborns typically consume small amounts and gradually increase their intake. Before leaving the hospital, your care team will provide feeding instructions such as when, what, and how much to feed. If your baby continues cueing, you can offer more. Most babies eat every three to four hours. Premature infants may need to eat more frequently. If your baby experiences reflux or spit up after feeding, try burping them to help reduce these issues. To safely prepare your baby's formula or breast milk, disinfect your countertop. Gather your feeding materials and supplies, such as formula or breast milk, water, bottle parts, measuring tools and utensils, and wash your hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds. When preparing powdered formula, use drinkable tap water or bottled water. If you are unsure about the safety of your tap water, boil for one to three minutes, then cool to room temperature. Measure the water first, using markings on the bottle or a liquid measuring cup. Then, add the correct amount of formula using the provided scoop leveled with a clean, flat-edged utensil. Unless instructed by your baby's healthcare provider, always prepare formula as specified on its container and never add more water than instructed. Next, attach a clean nipple and cap and gently shake the bottle to mix until there are no clumps. Prepared formula should be immediately fed or refrigerated for up to 24 hours. Discard any leftover formula one hour after starting the bottle. Store powdered formula in a cool, dry place and use within 30 days after opening. Never use expired formula. Avoid using homemade formula or store-bought milk, as they are not safe alternatives for infants. Fresh breast milk may be stored at room temperature for up to four hours, refrigerated for up to four days, or frozen for up to 12 months. After thawing, breast milk may be refrigerated for up to 24 hours, but should never be refrozen. Discard leftover breast milk two hours after starting the bottle. To prevent contamination, clean and sanitize all bottle parts, breast pump parts, and utensils. After each use, disassemble all items and wash in a dishwasher using hot water and a heated drying cycle. If a dishwasher is not available, immediately wash items in a clean basin with hot, soapy water, rinse, and air dry on a clean towel. Sanitize all hand-washed parts at least once per day by boiling them in water for five minutes. Remove boiled parts with clean tongs and air dry before storing in a clean area. Many parents feed their baby donated breast milk. Due to the risks of consuming unpasteurized human milk, it is recommended that donor milk be pasteurized and obtained from a milk bank. Follow the milk bank's handling and storage recommendations to best support your baby. Although formula is subject to safety regulations, recalls do occur. 
Stay mindful of recalls to protect your baby and handle your baby's food with safety in mind. Contaminated formula, breast milk, or water can cause serious health issues. Around six months of age, your baby may be ready for solid food, but you should first consult your baby's pediatrician. If preparing solid foods at home, clean and sanitize the preparation area and utensils. Store prepared baby food in the refrigerator or freezer. Use fresh or thawed food within two days or follow the manufacturer's recommendations for store-bought baby food. Discard leftovers if your baby eats directly from the container. Now you know the best practices for infant feeding to promote your baby's growth and development. Follow these guidelines and regularly communicate with your child's pediatrician.